Gorillas are one of nature's most fascinating creatures. They are powerful, majestic, and mysterious animals who are still relatively new to human comprehension. These animals hide in the shadows for so long that many originally believed them to be a myth. Considering how large the human population is, why did it take so long for gorillas to be discovered? Where were they hiding? What did the indigenous people of Africa believe them to be? Let's dig into the history of gorillas and what makes them so enigmatic. Gorillas are native to the forests of central sub-Saharan Africa. They predominantly inhabit the dense forests and mountainous areas in countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, and parts of Nigeria and Cameroon. There are two species of gorillas, the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla, each with two subspecies. Their habitats vary from lowland swamps to montane forests. Despite hundreds of years of exploration and discovery, gorillas were mysterious animals until the 1800s. Some of the earliest depictions and stories about gorillas are folk tales of creatures or monsters that looked like humans. Scientists theorized that gorillas were a subspecies of humans or the connective, missing link, between modern human evolution and primates. American naturalist Thomas Stoughton Savage conducted an expedition into Africa, stumbling upon the first evidence of gorilla existence. In 1847, he found a skull that did not match any other skulls on record. He declared the skull a new species, garnering interest in conducting further expeditions to the area. Between 1855 and 1859, French explorer Paul Duchelu took Thomas Savage's research and conducted an expedition to Gabon, Central Africa. His journey confirmed the existence of gorillas with visual sightings and photographic evidence. Later, in 1902, German explorer and hunter Robert von Beringe made it a mission to track, hunt, and bring back a gorilla as evidence. Von Beringe and his team trekked through the deep jungles, killing two gorillas to bring back as proof. His notes remark how large the animals were and how some were shot but continued fleeing, citing their impressive strength. For his success, the mountain gorilla was given the scientific name Gorilla Gorilla Beringe, the excitement of discovering gorillas quickly grew, encouraging the scientific community to race to learn all they could about the new species. In 1904, two years after Robert von Beringe discovered the mountain gorillas, Paul Matchy discovered evidence of the Cross River gorillas. Paul Matchy was a German zoologist known for finding several new species of reptiles and mammals. On an expedition, he found the bones of a Cross River gorilla, but could not find the animal's first hand. In fact, scientists believed Cross River gorillas were hunted to extinction until their rediscovery in the 1980s. After the Universal Monster movie King Kong, gorillas become a household name. They became symbols of potential new prey which attracted sport hunting. The scientific community is still conducting expeditions to Africa to study these amazing animals firsthand. The problem is they can be extremely difficult to find, which is why they were so difficult to discover in the first place. Gorillas are hard to find in the wild due to several factors. Dense habitat. Gorillas live in incredibly dense forests that are difficult to traverse. The large trees, thick bushes, uneasy terrain, and abusive humidity make it difficult for people to navigate and track without years of experience. High altitudes, gorillas are versatile survivors, but they prefer to spend their nights at high altitudes. Higher elevations make it difficult to breathe for people not used to the environment. Camouflage, they have dark hair covering their body, making them easily blend into the many shadows produced by the tall trees. Despite being four to six feet tall, they are elusive. Constantly moving, gorillas are considerate and intelligent animals regarding their environment. They continually move locations, rarely staying in one place longer than a day. 
After they eat a large portion of the greenery in the area, they move to other locations, allowing plants to replenish without exhausting the soil. Hiking experience. Trekkers wanting to see gorillas in the wild must travel through forests, valleys, rivers, streams, and steep inclines, which requires many years of experience. Tracking a gorilla without frightening them away can take hours or days. Now you know why it took so long for gorillas to be discovered. That's all for today, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon button for more videos like this until the next time we meet.